All right, so let's look at one of the weakest areas in cryptography. So we're going to have the best uh, keys, 128 bits, 256 bits, that, that are almost uncrackable. So our key entropy for a 128-bit key, if we're using all the key space, is 128 bits. Unfortunately, we significantly weaken the key whenever we generate the key from a passphrase or where we protect the private key with a password. So if the password is easily guessable, we'll be able to, to crack the key. Uh, so these are the, the, this is the method that we would have to uh, generate our, our key pair. So in this case, we use OpenSSL and we're going to generate a 3 des in, uh, in, encrypted uh, key pair. So it's three days that will uh, in, uh, it will protect the keys and with uh, a password. And then we're going to output that into a key pair which is private.pm and we're going to go for 2040 bits. So the file it produces is something like this. We can see here that it's produced three days CBC encrypted file. And this is the salt that's been used. Uh, we, obviously, we need to store the salt with the encrypted value. If we don't, then we'll not be able to decrypt uh, the ciphertext because we don't know the salt. OK, so this file, the private.pm, will contain both the public and the private key. We would never release this key pair in the wild and we don't want anyone to get our private key. So we then extract the public key using this option here. And that will give us our key.pub, which is our public key. So someone can put that on their, their key ring, or we could create a digital certificate uh, with that. So the command that we can use to be able to open up the, the key file and uh, is this one here. So we're taking in the, the key pair, we're outputting and we're putting in a password. So in this case, the password, if we created this, it here with QWERTY, will open it up. So we'll use a little Python script that will allow us to be able to mine for uh, the successful uh, output, which is writing RSA key. So if the key doesn't work, then it will create some sort of exception and we, we will move on to the next key. So create a basic list uh, of our, our key pairs and of our, our passwords, and then we'll pass that into the Python program and we'll try each one out with uh, a password in the command line, and then we'll, we'll wait to see if we can find one that works. Okay, so, so let's do this here. So I've just stored the, uh, the commands here. So the first one that we're going to use is that we're going to generate our uh, key pair, and we're going to protect it with uh, three days. So we could use AES if we wanted, but I'll just use three days. Okay, so it takes a little while to generate a 2048-bit key with some randomness. And we'll make it uh, QWERTY. QWERTY. A very poor uh, password. OK, so the next thing we're going to do is, if we wanted, we want to have a look at our public key. So we'll just copy that. OK, so that's going to take in our private key. And minus pub out allows us to export it. We'll put in our password again. Oops. I only did it one. And now we see writing RSA key. So if we wanted to look at our public key, then it looks like that. OK, so that's distributable. So now what we want to do is I'm just going to show you what the command line will give if I use an incorrect password. So I just use pass one two three and it gives me that but then if I use the correct password then it works okay so in our Python script we want to be able to detect the word 
writing RSA key. So let's look at our Python code. Okay, so I'm going to read in uh, passwords.list here and take one line at a time and then I'm going to do a for each statement and to take out each word at a time and that's W. Then as we see in there, I've we'll taken my private key for my key pair and I'm going to try and create out.key. This is my private key unprotected and then I'll try it with each of the passwords. We're going to call up the command line. So this is a little command line program here. And if it detects the word writing as an output here, then it's found the key and it'll exit. OK, fairly simple. So I've created a little password list. Here they are here. And it's quite a lot in there. So I'll just show the first few. And there's the word QWERTY. OK, so hopefully this is going to find uh, our our password because it's one of the top ones there. So we'll do keys. And there it's there, it's found it. OK, so it's found it because it detected the uh, writing RSA keys. So we should find now that we have we'll have an output which is our key okay so that's our private key is out dot key so it's now unprotected you wouldn't really want it to be viewable uh, by anyone so it's better that it has a password on it okay so hopefully that has explained uh, the the basic method of how you can test the security of your your private keys or your key pair.